In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Visual Composer tabs module to create sections of content with little tabs where people can click through tabs so you can have a lot of material without taking up a lot of space in the page. It's a really cool module. I'm going to show you how it works right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. The first thing we have to do to get these Visual Composer tabs working is either have a page that you're currently working on to add them to, or creating a new page to add them to. I'm just going to create a new one by going to pages and then add new. I'm going to call this page VC tabs, VC for visual composer. Then I'm going to click on save draft and then I'm going to click on to the front end editor so we can operate more visually, which I find to be a lot easier. And we have the header from our theme up here. Yours will be different guaranteed title of the page. And this is where we can add the tabs right here. So if we click on the blue add element button, and you can just add a row and then add the tab, or you can go right to add tabs and it will automatically add a row for you. I'm just gonna do it that way. And now we have tab one and tab two predefined, and then we can put this little yellow plus icon right here to add content into the tab. I'm just gonna add a text block, and I'm just gonna save that one how it is. And then tab two, click over to there, click on a little plus again, and I'm gonna add and a single image. And I just want to have the placeholder image because I'm not going to put anything in there right now. Click on save changes. So we have tab one with some text, tab two with an image. If you want to add more tabs, just hover over a tab area like this and you have this little tabs menu in blue up here. Click on that little arrow and then click on plus. And that will add another tab. It's just called tab here. And then inside the section area, we just click on this little pencil here and we can change the name of the tab to whatever we want. We'll call it tab three, or I'm just gonna change this to FAQ three. This is part of the examples I'm gonna show you. So uh, tab two, just change it to FAQ two. And now what we have is three different tabs. And the neat thing is you can of course add content individually to every tab, all different kinds of content, whatever you wanna put in there. It's gonna add a separator, just so we have three different things and three different tabs. And one of the cool things with tabs is that you can actually link directly to a specific tab. I'm gonna publish the page. We're gonna close out of the Visual Composer and we have a preview of the page here. If we click on any of these tabs, we see the URL up here change. That changing URL is what we can use to target specific tabs. So if we have a different page, we would copy this URL and it would open FAQ tab two. So if we could just open a new, new tab here, paste that in there. We're gonna see it's gonna open FAQ tab two right off the bat because we have this piece of code in there. And we can edit that piece of code. If we go back into the editor for this page, edit with Visual Composer, if we head into whatever tab we want to work on, click on the pencil icon for the section again, we see the section ID right here. This is the ID for tab one. So if we go over here back to this page, tab one, we see it ends with E799. That's what this one ends with. Now you can change this to whatever you want, but it has to be unique. So you can call it my tab or my FAQ one save that, update this page, and then refresh this page. Now we have tab one as my FAQ one. And you can add this link to anywhere on your website or anywhere outside of your website. And if someone clicks on this link with the hashtag my FAQ one, it will open FAQ one. And you can do this for what, it doesn't have to be FAQs, it can be whatever you want. But the point is you can have specific tabs open based on what is in the URL. And this also works for the accordion. So if we go back into the editor here and we add an accordion, we have section one, section two again. You add content the same way by pushing a little plus icon and just adding content. 
to each accordion item. I was quickly going to add text block to the second one as well. So for each of these accordions, there's a little section menu here where you can again change the name of the accordion from section two to something else. And there's also a section ID. So using that ID, we can again open specific accordions right from the start when the page loads. So if I upload or update that page, refresh this page so the accordion appears as well. And right now, section two is closed, but I copied the ID. So if I paste the ID in here, hit enter, we see section two is now open. Now there's a conflict of interest here because we can't define the ID for an FAQ tab and an accordion tab on the same or in the same URL. So you can only do one at a time, but hopefully you have these on different pages. And same as before, you can change that value of that ID to whatever you want. This has to be unique. And these function like any other component of uh, the FAQ or tab here, the tabs, if you want to have them in a different column arrangement, have a one half, one half layout. Then we have the tabs on one half. You can have an image on the other half, or you can even move this accordion section, drag and drop it right up here, update the page. And then we have them beside each other just like that, which is actually looks pretty good. And that's how we can customize tabs and accordions and link to specific tab or accordion sections by using the hashtag in the URL, which is a really cool feature. And it's, it's a unique feature. You don't see that in a lot of different plugins. As you know, Visual Composer is a premium plugin, which you can buy from codecanning.net. If you buy it through the link below, I get a couple percentage of the purchase price. There's no extra cost to you, but what I'm going to send to you if you buy it through that link is my complete Visual Composer course for free because basically I'm being paid by the Visual Composer instead of paid by you. So I'm going to give you that course for free. All you have to do is send me the receipt after you purchase Visual Composer and I will get you access to that course. If you have a theme that has Visual Composer so you don't actually buy the plugin, you won't have access to the template library and a couple other features, but I will give you a heavy discount for the Visual Composer course if you have a theme that has Visual Composer. So if that's the case, just send me an email at bjorn at wplearninglab.com. Say you have such and such a theme with Visual Composer and I will send you the discount information. So the next step is go ahead, click below, buy Visual Composer, send me the receipt, learn all about it in my complete course and start building awesome stuff with Visual Composer. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.